Welcome to American Front Porch, Mid-Americana and Acoustic Traditions with Swamp Weiss and Video Bob Whiteside. On a tiny block of Olive Boulevard, an unusual phenomenon was about to take place. It would ultimately become known as Gaslight Square, an entertainment district that would rival the French Quarter in New Orleans and was known throughout Europe and beyond. Like New York's Greenwich Village, Gaslight Square supported and helped construct this important alternative American scene. It was uniquely St. Louis. The establishments were fashioned after the riverboat theme and the gaslight era. Lined with over 100 period gaslights, it became a cultural oasis for art, entertainment, restaurants, and after-hour coffeehouse discussions that are still remembered in the new millennium. Yeah, so the music scene there was really good. Pat, Pat was performing there, and you observed what he was doing, and he actually showed you some things. Pat, Pat Webb showed me the uh, style of picking that I do. Uh, he, he left Gaslight Square and disappeared out of everybody's life. And then he ended up in uh, Nash the Nashville, Indiana area. Area. Which is uh, better known for Bill Monroe and bluegrass and, and uh, the Bean Blossom festivals. And uh, Pat moved uh, close, to, close to the Bean Blossom area. Yeah, he was very close. And I looked him up on the internet about 40 years later and luckily found out where he was. And we had quite an enjoyable Reunion. This is going to be fun. My name is Pat Webb and this is Christopher Webb. It happens to be my son. He's a recording artist on Flower Project and Webstone Records and I'm on Webstone Records and we've been doing this. I've been doing it for about 56 years off and on except for some time to actually work. I had hard work because I wanted to, not because I had to, but I wanted to experience life much like when I was a kid on the farm down in Springfield, Missouri. I wanted to still do some work here and there, and I've done about 25 different jobs. But now, we've got mostly music that we do, and we want to do one of our original tunes that's on the recording called Land of the Homeless Black Dog, and it's called Southern Shores.
time I got on the bus headed for St. Louis. I thought, I'll stop in St. Louis and then I'll go back out west. What happened? There were three buses came out of Chicago that day for St. Louis and it was the 4th of July. And uh, I got down to the bus station in St. Louis. I was going to find a cheap hotel and get a good night's sleep and then go on out west somewhere. That was my plan. So everywhere I went, the hotels were full. And I ran into a guy on the street that I'd known before when I played St. Louis before, named Bob Winters. And Bob said, why don't you come down and stay with me? I'm at a place called Gaslight Square and a place called the Musical Arts Building. And you can stay with me and uh, there's places to play. I said, man, this is better than what I want for. So I got down there and got settled down in Bob's room with my guitar and my suitcase in his apartment. And he said, there's a party down here at such and such on another floor. So I went down there and there was a party down there. There was a whole lot of good looking women and about four guys and refreshments. And it just was a wonderful party and, and I was able to play and it was my introduction to St. Louis on a grand scale and I say I entered the 60s officially <laughs> there and that's also a place down right next to that place called the Laughing Buddha. It was a coffee house and that's where I met Chris here's mother, Charlotte Daniels. We were on the road off and on together for many years. And while we each retained our solo act, we did our duet act also. And Chris and I do the same thing. We do our duet act. Uh, and then mostly he does his solo work or work with his group, the Beaten Poets. Well, this is a Volbrecht, of course, handmade by Ronald Volbrecht. Here he's made guitars for the Stars, several of the Stars, Hall and Oates, John Mellon Camp, so on and so forth. John Denver had a couple of them. I'm very fortunate to have this, and I was in on getting this particular shape. I used Hebrew numerology to come up with the right dimensions, and it worked. And the, uh, the prototype was great, but then he took the prototype and he made this one just a little bit bigger and it was perfect. It's got all kinds of bass, plenty of treble, great sustain as you can hear and I'll just play a chord on it to give you some idea what I mean by that. <laughs> steel string classic guitar and actually it's bigger than a, a nylon string guitar so you can get a thicker string. These are light gauge steel strings but you can use mediums on them there. To me I've played all kinds of pre-war guitars of the most famous brand and several others in my time and I've never found anything that comes up to the Volbrecht in every way perfectly in tune. It makes me wish I was a better player every time I pick it up. I could say something about my guitar too. It, um, it's a family heirloom of sorts. It, it is a 1935 Gibson L double O and um, it uh, was my grandfather's. He bought it new in 1935 during the depression but he happened to be in the Navy which was about as steady a work as you could get back then and it was passed on to my mother when she uh, took an interest in uh, folk music um, in the 50s and uh, she played it uh, for years and years. Uh, she played it on um, an album that she did with my father, Pat, who I'm with today. And um, she passed it on to me. Uh, she uh, passed away um, about uh, seven years ago. And um, I have uh, played it ever since. And it is, uh, it, it is not something that uh, I can put a dollar value on, although people always ask me about something like that. Uh, it, it means a lot more to me than that. It's something that I could never part with. Um, I've played uh, other guitars that I um, like for other different reasons, but I like this guitar very much, especially in playing with my father, because it blends very well with his guitar. Let's play Shadows on the Road. I don't know if Chris and I have ever played this one together, but I think we can. There is a shadow on the road 
Hit by an old man's body blocking out the sun Further back down the road Not made by human form comes another one I will now stand here and wait As you close the distance between you and I I will end my weary way And you will take me to the gate Welcome shadow down the road I lay down my heavy load Carry me to brighter things Away from fools who think they're kings It's shocking to see that, and I try to remember the old farm as it was, and that was many years ago. I'm 73 now, and I've been at this a long time. I've enjoyed it. Let's do a, let's do a standard. Uh, how about sitting on top of the world with blues? Sounds good to me.
Fear that does a whole lot of hobo songs and things that he writes himself there, and a lot of, a lot of good people. I've talked to you, and you've met Backwoods Jack I himself. Know, you know, Mark Jack, I've yeah. met a few of the old great musicians from the Gaslight area in St. Louis area. And uh, you've met some of the famous ones just to come and stay, you know, when they yes, were uh, on the road. And uh, we traveled, your mother and I, and both together and separately. Uh, most of the time during the 60s, there was always something going on. Let's play, uh, man, let's play an old blue. What do you think? I'm going to be on that. <laughs> Thank you. 
had done my heart good to play an old blues like that. I have one which is not to be confused with the Wild Stallion, although it uses some of the same techniques, and I have to admit to having picked up some from my father, but um, uh, this was something I was working on uh, back in my teens, and uh, this is a uh, tune called The Last of the Great Summer Rainstorms. It's the final song on our first record, and uh, I'll do a short version of it, and I hope you enjoy it.
and uh, we look forward to doing this again and seeing our good friends all over the country. And this has just been wonderful. Let's just pick a little something in this key and uh, we'll go home.